All right, so we're here with Sandra, and Sandra is our latest under eye filler patient, and Sandra is special because we're using Restylane Silk on her, and Restylane Silk is a brand new product that is the, not the next generation of Restylane, smaller particle size, finer, should swell less, should need less molding, best for lips, under eyes, real delicate areas. So if you come in here close on this, Julie, I want you guys to see what her under eye looked like previously. And this is before we treated her at all. And you can see both under eyes are pretty similar. A little bit of a bag, a little bit of a dark circle on each side. All right. Now, if we go back to Sandra in real life, you'll see that two minutes ago, I treated her right lower lid. And her right lower lid now is ahead of her left lower lid. You can see that the dark circle is gone and the bag is basically gone. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and treat your opposite side. Okay. 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 Now we'll take the cannula just as it is. So those of you who have watched these videos know that I love these cannulas. Tip the chin just a notch. Good. And what these cannulas do is they allow me to fill with minimal bruising. Once in a while people bruise, but not so commonly. It's also not super uncomfortable. It's more kind of weird than anything else. Mm -hmm. You doing okay, Sandra? Sure. Julie, can you see okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So what I'm doing is building the little dark circle, which is truly a valley or an emptiness. I'm building with Restylane Silk. Restylane Silk is nice because it has a little bit of lidocaine built into it. And also, again, the particle size is more appropriate for lips, tear troughs, fine lines, fine lip lines, anywhere you want a real soft filler and a real delicate filler. Um, because the particle size is smaller, it tends to blend itself. It doesn't need as much molding. And with less molding and less pressure, we expect less swelling afterwards, which is kind of a nice thing. When I do under eye filler, I generally ask to see people back a few weeks later, double check that we got everything just right, and if need be, do a little fine tuning on that visit. Um, for my out of town patients, well, we try to accomplish it all in one visit, so I don't have to fly back twice. Look straight ahead. Good. Eyes up to the ceiling again, so we've made some progress. You can see little areas where there are valleys that still need to be treated. You're going to be famous, Sandra, you know that? <laughs> Good. Okay, look right at my nose now. Chin down a touch. Okay, that looks straight ahead again. Very good. Heads up to the ceiling. Like regular Restylane, and like Juvederm, and like Juvederm Voluma, this product is a hyaluronic acid product. That's a naturally occurring substance. It's already part of the human body. So that's nice to know. Um, it's also reversible. So God forbid we have a lump or a bump or right my nose here, or some other thing that we don't like about the result. We don't have to wait months and months and years and years for it to all go away. We can reverse it overnight with an injection that dissolves the filler. Um, with the older wrestlings, on average, 9 to 12 months is when the average person would come back for a refill visit. Um, I expect that to be about the same with this. Since this is a newer product, I can't tell you out of personal experience yet exactly how long it lasts, but from the reasons I mentioned before about what it's built out of and how the under eye area works, I would expect that to 12 months. Let's straight ahead again. Eyes up to the ceiling. It's going really well. You feeling okay, Sandy? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay. Pain wise, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you call this? Maybe a 1. Maybe a 1. So most of it you don't feel? No. And I do like this silk. I do think that this already looks more blended than when I used to do this with the regular rest plane. I feel like we saw more early lumps and bumps, just minor stuff that settled out in the first week. Let's straight ahead. Eyes up to the ceiling. Um, but with this, I really think there's less of that. Look straight ahead again. Eyes up to the ceiling. Finishing touches over here, then I'm going to come back and track that hollow from the other side. You're doing really well. What do you think, Sam? Does it look like it blends a little faster? Yeah, it does. It really does. I really think so. It looks good. Yeah. Good. Now I'm going to come around the other side. Sam's going to swap me here. And we're going to go after that part of the under eye hollow. Turn this way, Sandra. And go right after that. You'll feel this a little bit at the very beginning. It'll settle right down. Feeling that 
just a little bit. Just a little bit. Turn away just a little bit there. The noises are interesting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Odd sounds. Okay. Turn away. Chin down a touch and look straight ahead. So much better. Stand just a little bit more of the inside corner. So I'm going to go back around there and treat that. A really nice add-on to this that we're probably going to do for Sandra later when she can afford a little bit of downtime is to do some laser resurfacing to tighten the skin that overlies this area. Because we can make even one notch nicer improvement if I can tighten that little bit of looseness of the overlying skin. That's non-surgical, doesn't require any injections or any of that stuff. The problem is the laser resurfacing generates about a week of recovery. Um, where you have to wear sunglasses or hide out for that first week. Look straight ahead. That's up to the ceiling. Sandra's got a little too much going on right now to uh, allow for that, but we'll, we'll get her back in the next little while and do that. Look straight ahead. Good. 99% done. Julie, seeing anything over there I can't see from over here? Everything looks good. good. Yeah, like good. one more chin down, or straight on. Look straight on again. Chin down just a touch. There you go. Perfect. There you go. A little bit more. She still has a tiny bit of a bag showing on this side. Not much. Um, and that's what we talked about before. You know, if you really want an A-plus result, you'd have to buckle down and have surgery look straight ahead. <laughs> but we can get a solid A with just the injectables. All right, we'll go back one more time. We'll show you where we started. So that's our original starting point. And for you know ten minutes and not too much suffering, I think it went pretty well. What do you think? Let's go grab the mirror. Let's let her see what she looks like. Oh wow! <laughs> yes. Much better. Yes. You did great. Thank you. Thank you so much.